Our Casey Geraldo joins us now with the West Dallas Police as they patrolled on the lookout for drunk drivers. Well, is this person impaired? What do I smell when I get up to the car? On opening day, the bats are cracking, the brats are sizzling, and the beer is flowing. Our hope is always that people make a good choice, but unfortunately, when you're out there drinking, uh, your capacity for making good choices is diminished. And so today, West Dallas police have extra patrols funded by a grant to help catch people drinking and driving. Your poor judgment for all of a couple minutes can be the difference between your life or somebody else's. And the numbers show 2016 was one of two in the last five years with many DUI stops. In 2014, West Dallas police arrested four people who got 10 DUI citations. In 2016, three arrests with eight citations. Uh, Lieutenant Todd Clementi says there are many reasons why one year differs from another. Roads like Greenfield here in West Dallas are getting more traffic with all the freeway construction, and that means their police department is catching more people making bad decisions. They're bad decisions people don't have to make. Miller Park offers two programs to keep people from drinking and driving. Their designated driver program gives DDs over 21 who park in their lot a free soda coupon when they register and pledge not to drink. Last year, the Brewers DD program ranked in the top five among major league clubs with 39,632 designated drivers. They also have a safe ride home program where they give a free cab ride home to people who drove to and parked in Miller Park lots but can't drive home. That's done at Brewers management discretion. Clemente hopes people would think twice before getting behind the wheel. He says he doesn't like making those arrests, but knows it's well worth it. The end result is, is that we may have literally just saved a life by arresting somebody. Casey Geraldo, today's TMJ4.